Hi everybody, welcome back. It is day 12, we're in adventure mode still, and uh, oh my god, things are not going very well. Uh, it's about to be dusk on day 12. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that we need to do to get back on top of things. Uh, I'm going to collect some wooden stuff so that I've got uh, some fuel for the fire tonight. Uh, of course, I've got tons of charcoal as well, so it's not totally required. We need food. God, we're getting very desperate for food, actually. It's getting kind of hard to survive uh, out here. Uh, we've got a crock pot set up now, uh, so we should actually be able to make some decent meals. Uh, but we need to find some veg and stuff to bulk things out. I got some seeds. I could probably make some farms. I've got a, an alchemy engine now and a science machine. I'll start picking up uh, more rocks and stuff so that we can actually make some farms. We're going to need some manure as well from the pigs by feeding them. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> We're going to have to set up some sort of base camp uh, to, to survive this, I think. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm just going to pick up seeds and eat them as much as I can now, because uh, I think we're going to have to. Get out of here, you bastard. <laughs> we need to eat all of these. There we go. Uh, I'll also pick up sticks and these uh, twig things as well so that we can actually uh, plant them close to the base and have some sort of supply. Probably the same with grass tufts as well. Uh, like I said before, we need to get on top of things so that we can actually survive and go through and find the rest of the stuff. Managed to find two things so far, fairly early on in adventure mode, uh, but at the cost of now uh, being on the brink of dying uh, because I was rushing so much because uh, I thought that I had to. Turns out I don't actually need to rush through adventure mode. I can take my time uh, as long as I need to to get on top of things. Uh, so that's what I've decided to do. I I'm hopefully not going to turtle as much as I did in survival mode. Hopefully we can get through at least to the next chapter in some reasonable amount of time. Uh, although it is me that we're talking about and I am a massive pussy so uh, it may not happen. We'll have to see. God damn it. I'm just picking up all these pine cones uh, for no reason other than to uh, replant them here so that I can get trees closer to my base. I'm going to need a lightning rod. I'm going to need all sorts of shit to protect all my stuff in my base. I don't know if there's dog attacks in this. If there is, we're dead, pretty much. Uh, because I have like 11 health left, and uh, my hunger situation is not the best either. could really do with... Get out of here. I uh, could really do with finding um, all sorts of stuff, really, uh, to add to the crock pot. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be anything around. We, were, we had like a food bonanza at the start of, the, uh, of this chapter. Uh, but now things are going downhill rapidly for us in, in the food department, uh, which is not the best. God. Fucking pigs everywhere. Too. We should probably kill some of those pigs uh, for meat. That might be nice, actually. Okay, uh, day 12, then, is coming to a close. Uh, let's get this baby going. We've got more charcoal than we'll ever know what to do with. Jesus Christ, if only. I, I don't know if this is going to actually kill me. I've got 11 health, and uh, I just don't trust this cooked leafy meat. I, I don't know if it's any good, actually. I, I, I think it might be bad for you, the leafy meat. God damn, I could really do with finding some carrots and stuff. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any here. Although there's this, like, plains thing over here we could probably check out tomorrow uh, if we survive that long. Jesus Christ. Berry bushes as well. Holy shit. Has anybody seen any berry bushes, like, this entire time? Because I sure haven't. Uh, cooked red cap. I think that hurts you as well, actually. I don't think it does much for the old... Um, for the old uh, hunger. Uh, or maybe it just drops your sanity. I can't remember. Let's plant these here so they're nice and close. Uh, we got some trees coming up. It's just started to rain. Uh, Jesus Christ. I mean, if, if if the frogs start falling, I don't know if we're going to survive. God, I would love to actually kill this bird. I can't, I, I can't do it. The bird trap. Jesus. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I might actually starve. Uh, we might have to do this. Cook leafy meat. Uh, oh, <laughs> God, it gave me one health back. Well, that's good to know. At least uh, if we plant this thing, we can get some cooked meat, cooked leafy meat back. I'm not sure if this is going to hurt me. My health, 12 health. Should I try it? I can't remember. It could be risky. It's day 12. Uh, I'm, I probably will be able to get through tonight uh, without starving to death. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll do it. Can I, can I actually get some farms and stuff? Basic farm. Get a drying rack, which I don't think I need. Bee box. Let me get closer to this thing so that I can actually see what I can prototype. Ice box. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Basic farm. Improved farm. You need manure for. Here come the creepy hands. Two of them. You bastards. Get out of here. It doesn't seem to be raining frogs so much anymore. We had a bad... A bad run of it at the start. 
but it doesn't seem to be too bad right now. I, 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 at least it hasn't happened in the past, what, like four days that I remember? Okay, it's almost daytime, so we should be fine. God damn it. Fucking hands, get out of here. <laughs> Every time. Jeez. And the creepy music, too. It doesn't help. Get out of here, creepy music hands. You big bastards. Nobody's going to get the best of old Willow. The the ex expert at survival. Okay. Seeds. Yes. Give them to me. Give me all the seeds. Seeds are what's going to keep us going. I'm, I'm holding out for some berries and carrots over by these stupid... Uh, oh, shit. Look at this guy. Son of a bitch. We're going to have to go over here and explore a bit. Uh, oh, my God. It looks like uh, the days are getting a bit shorter, which means that it may be winter soon. Where am I heading? Over here. Uh, hopefully to some sort of uh, massive food source. Oh, my God. <laughs> it would be great. Holy shit, look at this guy. Have I been over here before? Oh, look, there's a rabbit here. There are lots of, lo lots of logs, uh, which is quite nice. I won't pick up the axe, although I might as well, because I'm just going to have to make another one soon anyway. Uh, it's got 50% left on it, uh, which is not too bad, actually. Any seeds or anything? No? Food? Anywhere? There's at least a lot of grass over here, uh, which we need. Uh, if we find no food, that would suck. Uh, but at least we'll have tons of grass and we'll die uh, like the, the richest grass baron in the entire universe. Jesus Christ. I don't think there's any food over here on this side of the map at all. I think we're kind of screwed, actually. Look, we're going to starve now. I actually have no food. I've just got this crappy mushroom. Oh, please. Just a carrot or something. That's all I'm asking for. Just one carrot or a frog leg. Just start raining frogs and I'll kill all of them and eat them. Oh, I think this is it. I think day 13 is the end of our adventure. We might have to retry this. It's getting bad. We're going nuts. We don't have any food. It's raining like a bastard. Oh, God. There's, there's no food in this part of the map. I think uh, once we pass that part uh, with the pigs... I think that's when it all started going bad for us uh, in the food stakes. No more carrots, no more berry bushes. It's just like uh, like a barren wasteland up here. No seeds. Uh, maybe it's getting too cold for the seeds, or maybe it's because it's raining. But there's uh, there don't seem to be any seeds or anything. Uh, Qualifon. Oh my God! Oh look at all these golden nuggets. Oh, there's some seeds. Look, <laughs> just in time uh, for us to start uh, starving our butts off. Uh, look, there we're saved by one seed and red caps. Jesus, if only I had enough uh, stuff. Oh, shit, this might do it. <laughs> this guy's going to chase us forever, but we're going to have to do it. Where is he? <laughs> Here he comes. Son of a bitch. All right, I got you. Uh, where's my spear? I'm going to take you out. No. <laughs> well, that was the only way we could do it. And, uh, and, we've, and we've lost. Day 13. I think that egg would have saved us, but oh shit, here we go. Oh, look at this! Chester! What's up? I'm back! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, we might die out here too. Look at this, this is pretty bad. Jesus Christ! Oh, look at all these bastards! Holy shit! Alright, we got some work to do in the form of cleaning up the spider nest. Oh, look at every. Oh lord! Oh, Chester, I'm sorry, but you might actually die. Oh my god, what a mess! Adme adventure mode is so hard, and now this, we're back out in survival mode. It's day 160. I want to try adventure mode again! I'm desperate, Chester. Our first attempt was not the best. Oh, look at this. We're going to take all these bastards out. Come on, you big bastards. Look at this. Taking them all out. A heal. Oh, watch out, there's a warrior. Chester, watch out! Oh shit, here comes the big mama, too. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we're gonna need to make a fire and stuff. Oh, I can't believe this, Chester. Look, we've got... What's that? Roasted berries. Okay, fine. We don't want to go too far away from the old door. Because uh, we want to go back into it, if possible. Oh, damn it. Look at this. We're gonna actually have to set up the fire here. Oh, Lord almighty. Chester, careful. Oh, shit. Here comes the big mama spider. Run for your life! Oh, my God! What is happening out here? Why is this happening? Why is this stupid spider attacking us? All right, we're going full torch mode. Jesus Christ. Can we actually get back to this thing? To the door? Chester, I think you're dead. Okay, I'm going to make my way back to the door. 
torch still has a bit of juice left in it, uh, which is fine. Might have to burn down this whole... Oh, lord. Look, I'm picking up seeds. Oh, Ch Chester, you made it. Good job, you son of a bitch. Uh, of course, I don't have uh, enough of anything, uh, so I'm going to just go into Maxwell's door, Chester. We're going to pop back out on day... Is that 161? Look at this. The torch still has some go left in it. Oh, look, I can light up these evil flowers, too. Are the spiders coming? Okay, perfect. It's daytime. In we go. Chester, uh, try number two, adventure mode. We can do this. Trust me. Bye, Chester. You're about to step into a long, arduous journey to find Maxwell. Once again, yes. All right. Try number two has got to be better than try number one. Now that at least we know what we're doing. Whew. Wrangling pines. <laughs> Reticulating pines. Inserting a keen sense of despair. Oh my god, we know all about it. Okay, this time I will not rush. Uh, we'll do this. Chapter 1 of 5. A cold reception. Okay. Familiar territory, at least. There he is. Oh, you found my portal. You'd think you would have learned your lesson by now. I know. Well, I've been in here before, Maxwell. I don't know if you remember. Let's try something a little more challenging, shall we? Yes. Okay, so, uh, this is familiar, uh, this is the same, uh, map that we had last time, so, we know that, uh, there's gonna be, uh, frogs, uh, raining frogs, and, uh, we know that once we get past that first pig barricade, we're not gonna have any food either, so, it's probably gonna make, uh, some sort of sense to set up, uh, a base camp and get, uh, some tech behind us, which would be nice. Uh, I don't think there's any golden nuggets on this side of, of the map, though. I think we have to go through the pig part uh, to get our first golden nugget, uh, and then we can do some tech. But in the meantime, uh, let's get as much crap as we can. Sticks, grass, logs, all that good stuff. Food, uh, and then we should be fine. It is day one. I think we've got a couple of days to go before things really start hitting the fan, and uh, we have our first winter. Oh, here. Look, it's the first rain. God damn it. Uh, if we could knock down this tree without uh, triggering the Keeper of the Force as well, that would be nice. Jesus Christ. Talk about action-packed. Last adventure mode. Uh, and then, of course, coming out of the door to uh, what was also immensely action-packed as well. Holy shit, that was fucking nuts. God. Okay, great. Food, uh, already we're doing better uh, than we were, like, what, ten, ten minutes ago now? Was it, was it about ten minutes ago? Jesus Christ. I can't believe that. Fucking Tallberg. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I only had a, a grass suit on as well. Because uh, I didn't prototype the uh, log suit. Uh, because I was frantically trying to survive the entire time. Son of a bitch. Okay. I don't know if the map is the same. I, I'm assuming that it's randomly generated. I'm pretty sure it's randomly generated. Actually, I'd be like pretty disappointed if it wasn't randomly generated. Uh, I'm going to make a garland as soon as I can too. Uh, to, uh, to help fight the... Uh, the insanity caused by it raining. Look, see, sanity's dropping. Uh, that's because it's raining. So we'll pick up flowers and stuff. I can hear some whistling. That might be um, some sort of like evil demon out in the wilderness. I, I don't know. Apparently, one of these levels, uh, one of these chapters, the Eternal Winter one, actually has deer clops just sort of patrolling around. And uh, I don't know if he can be killed. I think you have to be like ultra MLG to, to kill him. And of course, I'm just like a uh, regular MLG, so I don't think I've got uh, the skills to pay the bills in that department. Fortunately, if we come across deer clops, uh, who I've never actually seen before, uh, I will probably shit my pants uh, and die straight away, which is not the best, actually. Oh uh, my god. I am just gathering like there's no tomorrow, and uh, we have to in this part of the map, I think. Uh, before we go through the first pig barricade, we want to make sure that we're totally ready. We'll get some flint, some stones, we'll make some tools and stuff, uh, which will be great. Uh, and then we can probably head over past the pigs, get a uh, gold nugget, uh, set up some sort of base, but uh, have a, a lot of food to take through with us, uh, which would be nice. Oh shit, look at that. It's like a ring of, of mushrooms. Oh my god. I don't... I hope that's not like some sort of like ritual site or something. Look at all these. What the hell? Oh well, we might as well grab them all. Cook them all up and use them as uh, as filler in the old crock pot. Oh shit! Look, they're all disappearing. No, oh, it's ah, oh, you sons of bitches! <laughs> look at them. God, if I had a show. Oh shit! Oh look at this. We don't need to actually get by. Oh look at all the gold. There's just a ton of gold up here. Perfect. Oh, even better. Oh, my God. 
We'll get the science machine straight away. Perfect. Oh, this is excellent. We can even probably set up some sort of base camp up here. Oh, look at that, too. A double. Jesus. Why why settle for a science machine when you can get an alchemy engine straight away, right? Like, look, we're, we're almost there. If we can get seven, that'd be great. Uh, I can't make a spear, so I won't be attacking these spiders straight away. But holy shit, we're just spoiled for gold in this map. Look at this. We've done it. We've almost got enough uh, for an alchemy engine. Jesus Christ, I think we will get it here. Holy shit. Okay, perfect. Oh, uh, this is a lot better than the previous. Look at this. We can actually set up a base out here as well, which would be nice. Perfect. Day one so far, so good. Excellent. I'm very pleased with the... Oh, shit. Oh, I thought we didn't get a, a nugget there uh, for a minute, which actually made me a little bit sad temporarily. But uh, actually realizing now that we did get one, uh, I'm not so sad. Perfect. Fuck, holy shit, look at all this stuff. This is great. Oh, God. We can set up a camp maybe like in here. Uh, or if we can find a grassy plain, actually, that'd be even better. Because uh, there'll be lots of rabbits there. We can catch them. Uh, and along with uh, the rabbits... Oh, shit, watch out. Laser eye, come on. Give me a chance. It's day one. I'm just trying to find my feet. <laughs> Son of a bitch. God, laser eye is so intense. Oh my god, we're so spoiled for gold. It's absolutely nuts. I've never seen so much gold in my life. It's so great. Perfect. Uh, I'll grab all this stuff, and uh, we'll think about making a camp somewhere soon. Uh, if I can find somewhere close to rabbit holes, uh, and we can set up lots of traps, we'll have the added bonus of capturing lots of frogs for their legs, uh, and hopefully capturing rabbits as well, which will see us through uh, the, at least the first quick winter. That'd be nice. Uh, and then if we can try to find the thing on this side of the map as well, that'd be good too, actually. Uh, and then we'll have uh, some sort of head start for the rest of the chapter. Cold reception. We're lucky, actually. Luckily, we got the uh, exact same one uh, first again, because apparently it's random, uh, which I didn't realize. I thought it just went in the same order every time. Uh, so that's kind of good too. Uh, fine. We're going to need to set up some sort of fire, and uh, we're probably going to get rained on by frogs. Uh, I don't know if it's worth actually setting up a permanent uh, fire pit. I mean, I've got more than enough stones to do so, but this just isn't the best spot. I want to be somewhere close to rabbit holes, uh, ideally, uh, to, to last through the winter. So let's do a temporary one for tonight, and, uh, and then tomorrow, hopefully, we can find a bit of a better spot. I'm going to set up here so that I can actually chop down these uh, trees tonight as well with what is actually remaining of this axe. Jesus Christ. Um, and then uh, I'll, I'll also spend tonight dodging lots of frogs because I think we're going to get uh, lots of frogs uh, falling from the sky, which is actually pretty disgusting. Uh, much the same way we did last time we did Adventure Mode. God damn it. We're going to do this. I really want to see the end of Adventure Mode, and I want to unlock like all of the characters as well. Apparently there's a secret character in Adventure Mode as well. It's a very uh, rare chance of him... Uh, spawning but if you get him uh, you can actually play as him which would be great god i would love to just unlock everything in this game on like pretty much my second playthrough of it <laughs> jesus christ oh my god uh flint fine strong enough fire uh, are we gonna get frogs tonight i don't know if we are we're gonna be able to see him coming anyway uh because we've got a lot of light which is good continue chopping down these trees oh it's not even raining anymore my god day one night one Oh, shit, it started raining again. I, I bet you here they come. You, you'll be able to hear them burping in the air, and then all of a sudden they're just going to start squishing and landing uh, on the ground. Jesus Christ, what a bunch of assholes. Look at frogs. You can't trust a frog. Uh, that's one thing that I've learned. Uh, you, you can never trust a frog. Uh, okay, oh, look. There looks like there's some grass down here, uh, which I zoomed in on too quick. Okay, that's where we're going to head tomorrow. We're going to head down there, set up some sort of base, uh, and then with this gold, we're going to tech up a bit uh, before we start trying to find the things. Fine. We're not in a rush this time. And we don't need to be either. We can tech up, get a heat stone and stuff, survive the winter without any problems, gather a lot of food and stuff uh, to see us through to the next area, maybe even make some meals and stuff. God, that'd be great. It'd be nice to actually head into the next area with like a bunch of like meatball meals and stuff. Uh, and then we can just find, like, uh, the next piece and see if there's some sort of, like, carrot mecha on the other side of, like, that big pig wall that we saw in the last time. I don't know if you remember, there was, like, a big wooden wall that I, I was actually thinking of burning. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. 
Oh, well, we might as well let that burn out so we can get the charcoal from it. Jesus Christ. That was a close one. That's why you need lightning rods in your base, apparently. Because uh, when lightning strikes close to you, and uh, if you have, like, a whole bunch of shit like I used to have in survival. Remember we had all, like, those berry bushes and, like, uh, grass tufts and stuff? Uh, they'll all go up, uh, like, like... In a, in a burning blaze of glory, uh, which we saw happen uh, at the hands of uh, fire dogs so many times. Uh, but in this case, it's just a, a stray uh, fork of lightning hitting all of your shit and, uh, and lighting it all up. Rabbits? Hello! It's me! Look! I'm here to set up a base camp <laughs> and get lots of grass uh, and then make lots of traps to capture you and frogs with. We did it! Yay! A base camp! We're going to actually have a, uh, some sort of base camp in adventure mode so that we can make stuff. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really great. Uh, we can go fight spiders uh, and so they don't turn into the big mama spiders that we had some trouble with like two seconds ago when we were uh, back in um, survival or sandbox mode. God damn it, survival mode. Look at this. I'm getting kind of hungry. Uh, it's not to worry though. We'll, we'll sort it out. We're gonna sort out the hunger situation. We're also going to get uh, some grass tufts and sticks and stuff set up uh, at this base camp. Uh, and then we can start making our way through the rest of this adventure mode. Oh shit. See that log is like twitching. Maybe, maybe, it, was a, maybe it was alive at some point. God knows. Okay. Uh, fire pit? Yes. We're gonna set up a fire pit right here. Oosh. Uh, we're also going to uh, eat some carrots. Mmm. Look at this. We're just down the hatch. Eating all of them. Seeds too. Mmm. I just ate some seeds. We got all these red caps. Uh, great. We want to get the science machine set up. Definitely. Yeah. Look, the music's just stopped. What the hell? Uh, we also want to get an alchemy engine straight away. So, boards and cut stone. Oh, look at this. We're already doing better uh, than we were last time. Well, I'm so ahead of the game. Look at this. Prototyping like a maniac. Great. Cut stone. Uh, of course, I have no room for cut stone. Uh, I could do with having a backpack, which I've got enough stuff for. Great. Cut stone. What do we need? Uh, I, we need another cut stone. I think we need like four of these. Great. Fine. I should be able to make a shovel too. Oh, perfect. Look at this. We're all over this. No problem. Don't know where we're going to get manure from. Probably pigs. Uh, we're going to have to figure it out. Uh, where's my axe? There it is. We're going to cut down this gloomy looking tree. Look at it. It's all, it's all wet. Oh, shit. We really need a, a lightning rod. Fairly soon, actually. Because uh, all this lightning will just not do. <laughs> it's it's kind of bad. Uh, okay, great. It's, uh, it's dusk. It's day two. I think we're going to get rained on by frogs tonight, uh, if I remember. Or is it day three? Is it like day two or three? Something like that? Must have been. Good grief. Okay, fine. Head back to my little camp. Uh, the fire is out already uh, because of this rain. Jesus Christ, this fucking rain. Holy shit. So bad. All right, we've got everything we need for an alchemy engine, so let's do it. Straight away. Wham! An alchemy engine. Uh, what do we want to make? Traps, if we can. We can make lots of traps. Perfect. Here we go. We're going to make as many of these bastards as we can. We can make three. Perfect. We're going to set them up so that we can start trapping some of these rabbits and frogs when they start falling from the sky eventually, uh, or imminently, uh, as it were. Uh, is there another hole over here? Yes. Okay, perfect. If we don't catch rabbits, we're definitely going to catch frogs, uh, which is nice. Because uh, their, their frog legs count... For, uh, I think it's the same meat value as, uh, as, as the little uh, bits of rabbit that you get. Which is kind of gross, actually, but, but also very good. Uh, I need some charcoal, so I'm going to get a torch. Perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll light some trees up on fire uh, if I can. Here we go. There's a couple up here. Just a couple. Perfect. Light this one. Let's light this one, too, before it turns into the Keeper of the Forest. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, should we get this one, too? Yes. Why not? We need the charcoal, so fine. Uh, we'll get the axe ready for when they burn out. Uh, get 
charcoal, and we should be able to make a crock pot like fairly soon too, uh, which is good. I if not straight away, actually. And then we'll definitely be ahead of the game, uh, much further along than we were last time anyway. Uh, and then if I can make a heat stone and stuff ready for winter, we should be good. We should actually make it through this stupid chapter uh, on our second try, hopefully. That'd be nice. God. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, fine. We're going to have to light the fire at some point, uh, like, uh, fairly soon. Can I actually do this? Do I have everything I need for Crock-Pot yet? No. I need one more charcoal, okay, and, and three cut stone. All right. I might, might as well get the stone ready because... Oh, shit. I don't even have enough stone. God, we're going to have to go back and get some more stone. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, what can I use tonight, then? Uh, I guess pine cones is the only thing I can use to get us through tonight. Get a big rip roaring fire. Look at this. We're gonna use up all these stupid pine cones. Look at this. Holy shit. It's absolutely howling. Uh, and just in case, we can uh, uh, use this tuft as well if we have to. Uh, we're gonna try to not do that too much though. Okay, fine. Uh, let's wrap up there. We're back in adventure mode. This is our second try. Luckily, we're on a cold reception once again. It is day two. So far, so good. We seem to be doing okay. Uh, we're much further along than we were last time, and uh, there's every chance that we may actually get through to chapter two this time, uh, which would be great. So, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.